Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode on radiology. Today it's going to kind of explore more on the medications given in the ICU and other emergency departments. And we're going to kind of start off by talking about another type of those medications. So let's get into it. Just like always, we kind of come back to this x-ray. I know it's probably like 50 million times you've seen it already, but kind of have to get that ingrained in our heads. Um, it's not that particularly useful today, today's lesson, but um, if you look at my past views, you may see me explain a little bit more in depth because it was more relevant. But um, near the end of the, all these like medications, we'll kind of present a case study where you can kind of explore, see how like these are combined and used effectively. So that's when it'll be more applicable. But for now, feel free to kind of rest on not knowing this knowledge. So what we're talking about today is called an injection or it can be given orally and it's kind of called Dilaudid. And what it is, is a pain opioid. And what it is, is as I mentioned, like a pain receptor, right? And we kind of explored different categories of the medications given in like emergency departments, being like um, opioids, like pain risk offensiveness, um, things that kind of muscle paralyzing agents. We also talked about sedatives and kind of falls in the antibiotics, and, you know, so on and so forth. And this is one of the things that fall into the pain reduction category. So it has to be given with something else if you want them to sleep, but this is kind of going to um, kind of sublime away the pain. Now there are some major side effects of this that are going to be normal, of course, because it's kind of numbing down the pain. So you're gonna be feel more calm and there's gonna be a lot more effects with feeling calm. And that may include um, shallow breathing because you're more calm, your body isn't as readily excited to take in more uh, breaths. So you may feel more comfort in a lower oxygen state because you're not feeling that pain per se. It may also be difficult to wake somebody up in this state because they're more comforted. So they're more likely to stay asleep because they're not gonna feel anything. If you tap them on the shoulder, they're likely to brush it off and not imagine it as anything. And it also could be dangerous because they may not be, since they're not susceptible to pain, they're not able to tell you necessarily if they're okay. Now, granted, you're giving this to them because they're not feeling okay. But at times, yeah, depending on the pain severity, if it's going up, they're still not going to be able to notice that. And that kind of goes away from kind of determining what the real factor is whether it's the medicine or whether their pain is really decreasing over a set period of time. Because as you give more of these pain medications, the patient wants more because they want to return to this feeling because it's a good feeling. But um, you necessarily don't want that because then they're going to kind of become addicted to the substance and kind of need it to kind of function. And that would be really bad. And so because of that's given as a precautionary based on the level of the pain, and based on doctor's orders. All right, this was kind of a short one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one, which we'll talk about a little bit more of a complicated one. So, bye-bye.